know if Kuhlman and Dom Jacobs are really fun for this kind of game and Shane, like, oh wow, big shot going up. But people that are able to really, really utilize their speed and athleticism. Um, and for me, I was a handler defender, so my life was... All right, we got Nut picking it up. And like I said, it, it is hard to do this when that man can do that. Thomas Brewster gets an easy goal. Be the hammer or the nail. Damn. You right? Yep. Just don't be a screw. Because <laughs> then you get screwed, huh? Facts. Seconds on the clock, Alex Tatum holding it. It's going to be able to find Nicholas Snuska pretty open. Good uh, little give and go. Nethercut's got it. And a couple seconds on the clock. He's going to go deep here. And then the attempted uh, defense by John Lee. A little bit over his head. Nice catch by Jay Frode. And, uh, well, 7-6. to six. Uh, Summit obviously going to be real happy. Rafi Hayes pressuring as uh, Nethercut will get the disc in the center of the field. A uh, quick little hammer here. And nicely pulled down. That's going to be Atkins. Another goal for them. As a uh, um, Bronker or somebody starting with it and then kicking it over to Nethercut. Nethercut, though, uh, right off the resumption, finds Froud up, uh, upfield in the center. Forced over to the forehand side. Oh, and well, the def defensive player, Julian Bonilla, uh, kind of stumbling. Push it to the far side. Back to Jackson, who will find another cut on this near side. A forehand flick comes out here, and it is a successful throw to Quinn. Let me see if Colorado looks to speed that up a little bit. Yeah, and there's a great cut deep from Jay Fruit. Throw goes up. Fruit has his mark and his man, and he's got it for a goal. A perfectly placed pass down the field. And these two teams are just going back to back. Yeah, and they run a really nice split stack, keeping it in close. Fruit opens up deep, and this is just something Nethercutt has done everywhere he's played. That is such a great block, right on the goal line. Nethercutt shoots deep right away. AG's turning on the afterburners. AG is there! And the match made in heaven. Jonathan Nethercutt throwing to AG is just something that worked right off the bat. And, you know, Jackson. Resets to Nethercutt. Shot down the line. Brewster is there. That's a classic Nethercutt shot. I mean, if you're a defender there, you're. Chuck knows what's happening in the Bay Area. Thumb on the pulse. Nethercutt hammers over the top. Landisman digs it out. Shoots deep to Frude. That was easy. Yeah, it's fun to see somebody try to throw a zone against this Colorado Summit O-line. I mean, with a 53-yard wide field and Nethercutt with the disc in the middle, like, I mean, just enjoy that. You got to find your edge. That's right. Wow, look at this. Nethercutt, cross corner, Brewster. <laughs> Picture perfect shot. That is a good golf shot. Just sends it out to the right, lets it run onto that back cone. Within two, three feet, an easy tap in for birdie for John Nether. Weinberg, sorry. Uh, will stay in and uh, they will find themselves set, but a quick huck, Nethercut. Launching it up, Joe Merrill trying to close the gap. I'm not sure he's gonna get there in time. There's some contact, but that is going to be a goal for Colorado. And that is Danny Landisman. Honestly, uh, not someone you expect to be in the deep space for the summit. Typically a handler has great throws, but does catch uh, the shred sleep in there on that point and a quick punch in for the summit. Uh, in terms of quick, efficient holds, if you're the summit, that's just what you want. Oh man, Nethercut looked just as calm as if he was taking a picnic under a tree, man. He caught that first. Very cool. There's another tight. Oh, that, that looked like it might have been down. No rule, call. Rule to catch ref. by the referee. And cut's going to go ahead and put it up. Immediate hug. Garrett Martin in, is in the area, but Atkins will go up through contact, make the catch strong. Bringing us 15 10 for Colorado. Absolutely. Making that 15 
And this is really a beauty of a throw from Nethercut here. Um, when you think about where you want the disc to be coming in at reception time, it is, uh, especially with a receiver like Atkins, it is at the height of their jump, um, fading away from their defender of Murphy's Law giving us an exciting <laughs> matchup for the fourth quarter. You, you know, Valiant uh, person. Okay, a shot from Nethercut already. Putting it deep. Oh, and Chad York is in with a huge attempt on it, but it's not going to be enough. Finer comes down with it. A fantastic throw from Nethercut here, honestly. Uh, a lot of patience. Nethercut sees Clutton in the deep space. It likes not to throw. Tight defense here. Oh, Nethercut will find the upline power position. Deep throw, Clutton in the area. Finer versus Clutton. And Finer jumps up. Clutton doesn't quite have a chance to pull it down. And kudos to Clutton here. Um, had an opportunity to make a very dangerous play on the disc. Absolutely. And elected not to. Absolutely. Power honorable position here. Uh, yeah. Honorable choice, I think. Colorado looking to exploit this squirrely D line here from the Spiders over the top. Colorado is. Beautiful throw. Yeah, it is. Boom. I think, you know, looking at Colorado, I think they're good enough if they play consistently. And look at this, by the way. Nobody guarding Jay Fruit. Not a soul. Find me an easier finish for John Nethercut. I dare you. Yeah, miscommunication there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what happened. With 49 seconds remaining in regulation, Nethercut unleashes a backhand. Warning track power to Atkins. Dishy to Matt Jackson. And that's a clean hold for Colorado. And that's pretty, just to see. It's funny, I asked Kevin Stewart, what, were, what was your big takeaway after the L.A. game? Like, well, we got to go get some of those young athletes that they've got. We got to poach some of them. <laughs> Cross field, Quinn Finer inbounds. What a shot from Nethercut. Yeah, it's, sometimes you see 53 yard wide fields and Quinn Finer hitting the brakes and going the other way. And life is good when you're John Nethercut and you got a young buck. For so long, I don't want to say he switched his loyalties, but he has brought his brilliance to the Rocky Mountains. Yeah, I think he replaced Jimmy Mickle. <laughs> Jay Frude gets the score. Brewster hits Jay Frude. Frude with the flick, deep shot to Nethercut. Pressured by Padula, but no problem there for Nethercut. Yeah, great deep shot from Jay Frude. What a luxury to have a big downfield threat who can turn, make touch throws like that. We'll see what Colorado can do against this surly L.A. defense. Nethercut leads Landisman to space. Gets it back and goes. The handler defender switch, so Landisman has to reset to fruit. Big around shot to Nethercut. And he's there. And Nethercut knows how to create goals. He's done it for so, so many teams, so many championship teams. And just to see him kind of run his offense, you know, even when he's even when he's making a catch, he's looking back to see where the defender is, which way is his weight going, can I throw and go, can I break the mark to the backhand side or the forehand side right off the catch. Such a smart. He takes off some switches. Move around, and Nethercut has it now. Leading to Frude, who hops into the end zone. Also, I'm not happy with your smog. Nethercut shooting deep to AG. How many times have we seen this this season? The break is complete for Colorado. And that was really a perfect moment. Looking at the sun setting over the Rocky Mountains, Nethercut taps it in, full field huck to AG. I could watch that every week. We could do this every week, honestly. Assists on consecutive points for Jonathan Nethercut. Chuck, I mean, sign me up, man. I'm in, but you and I both know that time is running short on the Colorado Summit's regular season calendar.
Another cut. It looks like a little bit of a side stack. And he's going to shoot uh, that, that flick, flick Nolan. Bomb. Yeah, there's and that And it's bomb. a beauty. That's, that's beautiful. Quinn Finer. What a throw. Finer never had to slow down for that. Had the perfect amount of touch. And that's what Nethercut brings. You know, he, he, he lengthens the field. And Nethercut with a hammer. Perfectly thrown to space if he can get there. And number Brunker. 26, Daniel Brunker with the goal. And that, that's what Nethercut does. He, I mean, he changes the shape of the field. You saw the growlers work as a team. <laughs> work as a team. Shackner sprinting down. It's going to be Purdy and Shackner on the double team for Nethercut. It's like a flood play. And, and a big flick. That was a huge chuck through a Lezinski. double team. Another great grab. This time, Quinn Finer dumps it back for Brunker. Oof. Finer in one on one, on one on one, like cuts, is kind of unguardable tonight. I mean, Bryce is doing Extending that lead. They're, they're having to play from behind here. They're used to winning. <laughs> Finer's going to shoot around for Nethercut, who's short. That's Another cut throw. with a nice huck across the field. Jackson looking for, ooh. Samu was Another in the area. Yeah. Nether cut shoots to the corner. Disc is dying. Ooh. What a grab from Quinn Finer. The kick spike. Finer continuing to just, you know, <laughs> throw up more goals on his statue. He is having himself a night. Great throw from Nether cut. Uh, in the deep space, close to the end zone, can really help. Oh, but this person left all alone. And we're back on the pitch. Colorado Disc. Looking deep with a strike deep. Challenging. And Goldberg, Goldberg runs hard all the way, but Colorado is able to score. Hanging now in the air. Now this could be the fire that the Aviators need to come back and get some more breaks in this fourth quarter. Oh, now another high disc. Henley. Let's see what we got. Oh, so close. Oh. Are they calling that in? I guess they are. And an answer. And here we are, AUDL Aviators looking to score. Again, the score is 25-17. They're hoping to get 18. And that is an incredible score. This catch. People say catch your Ds. And we have another blady, blady throw over the double team to another cut. They're looking for the score, and they're able to capitalize on it and receive it. I think I've said capitalize so many times it's become a drinking game score. Um, at least once more, if not a few more times. Um, it's hard to come back from this kind of point, but they have the strength, they have the fortitude to play incredibly well as they've demonstrated. Frude working in the lane. Frude and Matt Jackson just always threatening. Matt Jackson, the recipient, Jonathan Nethercut the shot, and it's a quick goal. Maybe 30 seconds for the summit. Yeah, and Colorado does a good job of redeeming the, you know, redeeming. And it's Nethercut again, working it out of the tra trap sideline, going deep to Landisman. Landisman over a crowd for the goal. Well, they are trying to get into the end zone, though, it seems. As another cut with the scuba and Landisman with yet another goal in the fourth quarter. 